Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. I hope you're a subscriber. And this topic that we're going to deal with now is how to deal with a negative husband. And let's be, let's be really honest. It's really hard to imagine not being a little negative in this world. I mean, we live in a tough world, don't we? It, can't we appreciate how some people are more sensitive and they become a little jaded and they don't like what's going on around them and they become negative? Now, should they control that? Yes, but you're not going to be the one to do that. However, and here's the magic. Here's the magic of marriage. He got married. Your husband married you because he found his soulmate. You're his soulmate. So let me ask you a question, and I'm not putting this all on you. I'm not blaming you for his negativity. Some people tend to be more negative than others. But I'm going to turn this around in a little bit of a different way. He married you so he could love you. He also married you so he would feel your love. He also married you so he would be happier every single day of his life, even if he has a tendency to be negative. He wanted to be happier, and so did you. So you have a power in this relationship between you and your husband, your soulmates. You didn't marry him to be a taker. Those aren't the vows that we give when we get married. You got married to love him with all of your heart, mind, and soul. Now, if everything that you did contributed to his happiness, to his joy, to his contentment in that relationship, it's going to reduce his negativity, isn't it? So the first place to go is to ask yourself, am I behaving the way I thought I would behave when I first married him or when I wanted to marry him. And you can't blame him. Don't do that. You have free will. You can't blame him for your taking back that which you offered him. That isn't fair. So you offered him your body, mind, and soul. That's what you offered him. Are you giving it to him? So what happens is people get married and it's not your fault. It's not anyone's fault. I'm not blaming anybody. But people get married with having zero clue about how to be married. I did the same thing my first marriage. I had no idea. Think about the examples that we have. Think about how we learn about marriage. It's insane. Primarily, a lot of people say, well, we learn from our parents. No, we don't. We learn from TV shows. We learn from the movies. We learn from books we read, romantic novels and such. It's insane. It's stupid. There is no edge. And again, I'm not blaming anybody, but there's no true education for marriage. So when I, I used to be a divorce mediator, this over 20 years ago, and I had a couple ask me to help them save their marriage instead of end it. And boy, was it an eye opener when I started. I used to believe in divorce. I thought divorce was great. That's why I was a divorce mediator. I wanted to help people avoid the courts. But then I started digging deep and I realized, wow, this marriage thing is pretty cool. It's its own venue. It's so unique. There's nothing like marriage in the world because the world is out to get you. No, I'm not paranoid. The world is out to get you. But when you're in this, I call it the sacred space of marriage. When you're in your sacred space of marriage, it's just the two of you. You get to, you're supposed to, Open up your heart, mind, and soul to each other and swim in marital bliss. So, how to deal with your husband if he's negative? Uh, ignore the negativity and instead go into your heart. Be your heart. Manifest that love. Cultivate that love. 
Cultivate kindness, sweetness. Stop all of your complaining. Stop all of your criticism. Stop anything that might make him feel negative because you have this opportunity to just really build on love and happiness and all kinds of things and you're the closest to him of anybody in the world so how you behave with him is going to affect him do you smile at him all the time are you encouraging do you let him know how handsome he is what a great lover he is do you touch him and go i'm totally in love with you do you do all of those things or do you say once again, you left the fridge open. Once again, you forgot to flush the toilet. Once again, you forgot to change the toilet paper. Right? Stop all of those things and focus on being an amazing lover. Now, I'm not saying you're the cause of his negativity. Don't take it that way. If you are, start this video again because that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying become the cause of his joy. That's what I'm saying. And subscribe to this channel and leave a comment if you have a particular topic you'd like me to speak about and like this video. God bless you. I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. And by the way, um, we're going to be starting some online training for TMF counselors. So you may be interested in that if you are. It's not on the website yet, but uh, let us know and we'll let you know when that's available. We're going to pre-sell it. I, haven't, I, I have started creating the course, but it won't be ready for a number of months. But we're pre-selling it. So if you're interest, interested, let us know. Okay, God bless you. Take care. See you again. Thank you.